Good morning. I hope everyone is enjoying themselves this wonderful day. Today I go further into Isaiah and listen to these words. This is taken from Isaiah 59, verse 21. I'll be reading from the Common English Bible. As for me, this is my covenant with them, says the Lord. My spirit, which is upon you, and my words, which I have placed in your mouth, won't depart from your mouth, nor from the mouths of your descendants, nor from the mouths of your descendants' children, says the Lord forever and always. So as we are in third Isaiah, there is a lot going on to unpack in this. The people have been in um, seclusion. They have been uh, taken out of their land and had to live in a foreign land, a land that did not have a beautiful temple to worship God, a land that offered them a new way of living in the world. And the presence of God must have seen so far away. And I can imagine the anger of the people. And then when they were allowed to go free, there was a question as to whether who wanted to go back. This God had not delivered us. This God turned against us. So why should we go back to the land of our fathers and worship this one God now? But here's the good news about that. In the middle of their anger, in the middle of their doubts, in the middle of all of it, God wanted his children back. And he told the prophet, tell the people, I will put my spirit within your mouth and it will never go away. It won't go away with your next generation. It won't go away with the generation after that or any generations to come. God made a new commandment, a new covenant with his people, a covenant to always let them know that though they may feel that God is not present, God actually will be, because from the very beginning, God writes on our hearts that we are his. This is the good news of our gospel, that Christ comes to us seeking us out. And in so doing, we are able to be connected to this covenant with God, that we are not alone, that God's presence is with us, even when we don't feel it, even when we feel we are in the darkest of circumstances. The Holy Spirit steps in and brings us out of the light, out into the light. My hope is that on this Christmas you may find joy even in the middle of the darkness that we face today. The light will never, ever leave us and the darkness will never conquer us. This is the promise of God for us, the people of God. And therefore, we say and rejoice, thanks be to God. Have a beautiful, safe, and wonderful Christmas. Amen. <laughs>